Hey up, uh, quick video today. I'm just going to test the water. Um, temperature's starting to really drop now, so just going to make sure everything's all right going into the colder weather. Uh, using the API master test kit. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail on, on how the testing is done, but um, um, yeah, it's a fairly easy kit to use. I've never used anything like it before, and following the instructions, I have no issues. So. Um, as to the accuracy, I'm, I'm hoping it's correct. Um, I've never had any massive deviations on that. Uh, so yeah, I'll get into that in a second. I've just been harassed by the dog. Which is fine. Yeah, so I'll get the test cow um, and we'll go through the water parameters. So like I said, we're going to use the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. Uh, I'll go through it piece at a time and we'll we'll see what the parameters are. So let's get the kit open. Syringe, a lot easier to measure the levels. Four freshly cleaned test tubes. Uh, and then the, the bottle. So we've got a nitrate solution, a nitrite solution, should be two of those. Ammonia solution. We're going to go high range pH. Either pH. Uh, that's the second nitrate. Turn that down there. And that one should be the second ammonia. Yeah, good job. So we put those there. We'll get that out of the way. Right, so using the syringe, we've got uh, 5 mil in each test tube. I'm um, just going to work through them in order. We're going to do the ammonia first. So we're going to take that. We're going to put eight drops of the first solution in. Cut that off. And we're going to put eight drops of the second solution in. Like I said, the instructions are really clear and simple to follow. Uh, it says here, shake vigorously for five seconds. And we're going to sit that behind the ammonia bottles and give that five minutes to develop. I said we're going to do it in order. I'm going to do them in order in the book, just for my own ease. So we're now going to do the nitrite test. Uh, nitrite, that one. Make sure we're getting it right. Uh, we're going to add five drops of this one. So, put that there. Shape for five seconds. And with these two tests, the ammonia and the nitrite, uh, you've got to leave those five minutes for the colour to develop to do that. Uh, we're going to do a nitrate, that one takes a little while, so let's do a pH. Five drops of high range pH. So this one gives an instant reading, so we don't have to wait. Uh, I do the high range because I've never yet had a reading below seven and a half. So uh, give that one a quick shake. Back there. So it, it says we're going to get an instant reading with that. So we'll check that out in a second. And secondly, we'll do the nitrate. I said this one takes a little longer because you've got to really shape the solutions. Um, we'll put ten in first. It's the solution that we've now got to vigorously shake, it says, for 30 seconds. So I'm going to do that now. I will edit this out, don't worry. We are 30 seconds vigorously shaking. Uh, just double check. 10 drops, solution 2. Uh, 
uh, now we've got to vigorous, vigorously shake this for a minute. So again, I'll let it out. Right, stick that back there. Stick that one behind there now. So now we'll check out, um, we'll give it another minute or so and then we'll check the uh, progress on the colours that need five minutes to develop. Right, so everything's had sufficient time to develop now. There's the colour chart that you get on the rear of the instruction manual. So first up we're going to check the ammonia and you can see um, it's certainly comparable to the first one which is a really good sign, no ammonia. So that's good. We'll look at the high range pH. Um, I don't know if the camera is going to distort this any, but it's sitting between 7.4 and 7.8, closer to 7.8, which is a usual reading. Um, so that's really good, that's what we normally have. With the amount of rain, I think the, the pH might be adversely affected, but it seems, it seems to be alright. We'll do the nitrite. That's exactly what we're looking for, zero nitrites. Superb. And then lastly the nitrates, very little in the way of nitrates, um, again I would I would look at probably about 5 parts per million there, so yeah, given those results that's, that's normally where we are with the parameters, um, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I'm, not, I'm, I'm quite obsessive when it comes to things, um, I didn't want to get into the habit of testing it every other day just from my own point of view because I, I would end up getting obsessed with it and any slight variations I'd end up messing about with it and probably affecting it um, so yeah I didn't want to do that um, I was really restrained and I I gave it a, about three weeks before I tested it from the initial fill um, and since then the maximum I've been doing is fortnightly tests um, again I visit the pond every day, so my rule for testing, right or wrong, you tell me in the comments, right or wrong. Um, as a matter of course, I will do it fortnightly, three week, every three weeks at the, at the least, uh, unless I see any unusual behaviour. If I see anything change in the pond that I think might be down to water parameters, then obviously I'll check them out. So yeah, hopefully it's short and sweet and not too boring. That's the parameters of what I've got. That's the uh, API master test kit. Um, yeah, enjoy the lovely cold weather as it is. And we'll see you again in the next video. Like and subscribe if you get a chance. Cheers.